Jake, does it surprise you? This, you know, people love to talk about quarterback situations, but compared to like Alabama, and I know Jalen spoke up about that, but Florida, I mean, it seems like, does it seem like, or I guess I should say, does it seem like a lot of attention has been placed on it, or has it not seemed that bad this month? Honestly, I've, uh, I've kind of kept out of it. Um, you know, I, I go to school and uh, I come to football every day. I uh, don't really read a whole lot, but um, really just kind of coming to work. And, um, you know, we're, in, we're, we're obviously getting after it and uh, excited to see and ready for the season. How's the hand, and do you know how long you're going to have to wear that brace for? Uh, the hand's a lot better. Um, it's, it's definitely kind of back to normal. And um, so uh, don't necessarily have a timetable for the brace yet. Um, but I'm um, getting x-ray soon and um, see what it kind of says. Have you uh, decided that fishing and hunting and skiing is uh, too hazardous to uh, getting lures buried in you and, and ski ropes you know, wrapped around you? I haven't decided it's too dangerous yet. Um, we're still going to kind of play around with that and um, kind of see you know, how much of that I can still do and, and still stay safe. So um, we're going to kind of test those waters still a little bit more. Which summer setback or worse? Uh, definitely the definitely the hand, um, the hook in the leg. That one really didn't bother me a whole lot. That was a uh, kind of a 30 minute, you know. And I'm done with that one. Uh, the hand uh, hasn't been too much trouble. Just wearing a brace and you know still been able to do whatever I need to do. I'm scared where you to call Kirby and let him know what just happened. Um, honestly, I really didn't want Coach Smart to find out, and, and until <laughs> until I kind of knew what was going on and, and how bad it really was. Um, I was trying to keep it uh, kind of under the table, um, but um, it, it's all good now, and uh, it's worked out good, so we're good to go. Jake, a whole lot of this offseason been for you and, and going into camp just because you have the bad drop of last year with what you went through? Yeah, uh, it's been a lot more uh, understanding. Uh, you kind of know what's going on. You understand uh, the offseason process. Uh, last year, it's just kind of um, really kind of like on a daily basis. It's, hey, you know, show up and do this. It's like, oh, okay, all right, you know, let's go do this. And, and now you kind of have a general feel about, you know, kind of what's going to happen and uh, the workouts and, and whatnot. But uh, it's been a lot better and um, kind of have a, a good idea of what's does, going on. And does keep, I'm sorry. Does it just give you a, a confidence level maybe going into the year that maybe you didn't have last year because you didn't know what to expect? Yeah, uh, absolutely. You, you obviously know what's going on, and uh, so you can kind of prepare for things better. And, um, you know, that's that's my thing. I love to prepare, and um, I definitely don't want to ever show up to anything and not be prepared. Jake, how has uh, Justin Fields been working with him, and what has impressed you about him? Uh, he's obviously a great football player and a great person, too. Uh, we've, we've definitely had a lot of fun in the quarterback meeting room, and uh, it's always kind of fun out there on the field competing and, and watching each other make good throws. Has he been, uh, little... make you better? And if so, no. Yeah, uh, he's obviously a great competitor, and uh, he makes you know a lot of great plays and a lot of good throws, too. So you kind of kind of puts you on edge and, and always wants you know to kind of kind of one up and, and make a better throw. What was number one on your on your to do list as far as becoming a better quarterback? Yeah, for me, uh, you know, obviously stay consistent, uh, be a better leader, and um, and, and for me, uh, get better in the pocket and, and be more accurate. So a couple of things, um, but you always kind of have to kind of go into to a camp, to a summer, and um, have those those couple of things you're working on and uh, try to get better. At those. Working with Justin, what are the similarities that have existed this year? as to the way it was a year ago when you were in his position mm -hmm. working with a company. Yeah, um, obviously it's a, it's a competition every day. Uh, you're coming out, uh, you're making throws, and and really just trying to get after it and make each other the best you can. What do newcomers Demetrius Robertson and James Cook add to the offense? Oh, they're fun. They're exciting. Uh, they're uh, really explosive football players. Uh, guys, you know, when, when they get the rock in their hands, they can – uh, obviously make it you know six points real quick and um, James and, and D-Rob uh, great people and um, definitely an awesome you know uh, definitely just a great contribution to the team. Did you, did you look at film of Demetrius uh, at Cal before he like when he was coming here? Oh yeah uh, definitely saw a lot of highlights uh, the plays he's been making and um, and definitely a lot of high school highlights as well um, and you know that guy can obviously make a lot of plays and, and I've seen a lot this fall too. When it comes to Swift, Harrion, and Holyfield, who caught your attention the most this you know, during spring and even now in camp to, to starting the season, I guess? Yeah, uh, I mean, all three of those guys, uh, all the, really, honestly, all the running backs in that room, uh, great competitors and guys who get after it every day. Um, Man, I really, honestly, I really couldn't nail down one. Um, all, all the guys really kind of get after it uh, as far as running the football. All the guys can catch out of the backfield. 
and really make plays that feel comfortable with everybody back there. And I'm um, just excited to see who's standing next to me uh, when we go out for that first drive. Terry Godwin mentioned uh, this offseason that you guys have the best receiving core in the nation, like, that he wants to prove to the nation that that's mm -hmm. what you guys have. Have they made your job a little easier? Or do you agree with his statement? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I uh, sure do. And um, they're definitely making my job a whole lot easier. Uh, these guys can run past people. These guys can catch up all over people. And uh, these guys definitely know how to get over, too. So I'm excited to see the plays we're going to be making uh, for me, uh, especially this Saturday. And uh, can't wait. Do you, do you remember what you were thinking this time last year? I mean, were you hoping to get in the App State game, maybe in the fourth quarter if Georgia was up big? you remember kind of what you were thinking? Yeah, uh, honestly, I really didn't know what to expect. Um, obviously, being my first game, just kind of, hey, you know, honestly, I just want to play and uh, just kind of kind of go from there. Did you miss us? Do you miss all this? <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely a lot of fun, and, um, you know, it's, it's fun. What good as that offensive line is, is visibility and passing lanes ever an issue? Because you got some really tall guards. Yeah, uh, definitely got some, uh, some really big guys up there. Um, definitely keeping me safe and definitely standing up, too. Uh, but as far as seeing, uh, there's really no difference, you know, whether they were 6'2 or 6'7 or like they are. It's really no, no big difference, and you, you find a way. Your, What's your father told the story of how much it meant to you when you were 10 to get a Herschel Walker helmet. Yeah. Now you're the guy that maybe 10-year-olds would love to have a signature <laughs> from. What's it been like for you to adjust to that? Uh, it's, 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 it's fun. Uh, it's, it's super exciting, and um, hopefully um, I, I'm doing my best to be the best role model I can uh, uh, for the young ones and, and, and doing the best, and you know, hopefully I don't let them down. What's your description of the competition on the offensive line in Paul Camp? Um, it's, uh, it's, it's been exciting to kind of see the, the, the interchanging parts of the guys up there. Um, but all those guys get after it. All those guys are, are big and strong and uh, can run block, can pass block. So um, they definitely get after it. And um, Coach Pitt's got it all figured out. Does Lamont Good. compare, uh, does Lamont, Lamont, excuse me, command mm -hmm. those guys the way Isaiah did last year? Or is it kind of oh, a yeah. different dynamic? Oh, yeah, Lamont, uh, he's, a, he's a great leader. And um, he, he does an awesome job at the center position for us and uh, for me. And, um, me and Lamont try to do our best uh, of leading those guys on offense, and and um, man, Lamont really does a great job. Jake, you, uh, Coach Smart has talked about how you've felt and you've been more comfortable mm -hmm. at this point uh, this year than you were last. I mean, do you recall one uh, time or moment when you were able to go out to practice and say, I'm a lot more comfortable now than I was, and I have a better grasp on how things are going on the offense? Yeah, um, I, I tell you what, honestly, um, when we were kind of doing uh, the, the 707s in the spring and in the summer, um, for me, I had a couple moments uh, in my head kind of where I, it felt like high school was kind of back where I knew the defense, what they were going to run before they ever ran it. I knew who was supposed to be in, in this spot, and um, the game just felt a lot slower for me then, and um, just continued to get slower and slower for me. How is your life different now? I mean, obviously when you came into Georgia, you were, mm -hmm. a, touted, you were a touted recruit, but with what the team did and you did last year, mm -hmm. it's a whole different level. So whether it's walking across campus or how friends or mild acquaintances teach you, mm -hmm. I'm just curious how, how it sort of manifests itself. Uh, it's definitely a little different. Uh, it, it makes kind of go out in public places a, a, a little bit different, um, but it's it, it really is fun. It, it's awesome, and um, I, I wouldn't change it for the world, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to be where I'm at. Do you wear disguises? <laughs> no, I do not wear disguises. Do you not go out as often, or what do you do? Uh, I mean, just, just a little bit more selective of where I go, and um, obviously, uh, you know, kind of time is, 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 is a really big issue uh, for me, so. I just kind of know, you know, where I have to be and when I have to be there, and um, just kind of be careful with that. What would what would be an example of a place maybe you you go to in the past, but you probably would have been now? Gosh, I, I don't know, uh, but I mean, I, I probably wouldn't walk into a Walmart if I had to be out in you know five <laughs> minutes, you know, because I, I might be in there, you know, talking and and whatnot for a while. But you know, I mean, just simple things like that. You enjoy it's it though? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Is it tougher to get out and about in Athens or or Warner Robins? Ooh, that's, that's a good question. Uh, they're both about, about tit for tat. Um, definitely don't walk into the academy back in Warner Robins. Uh, I feel like I, I always see 20 people I know uh, in the academy back back home, but um, yeah, they're pretty pretty darn close. I know you well, guys said that after last season, the national championship is the goal this year. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, getting to the playoffs, you have to go through Atlanta. How important is it for you guys to repeat as SEC champs? I'm sure it's something that you guys have discussed at some point. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, that's definitely the the goal first is to to get in that game and, and win that one. And uh, it's always fun playing Atlanta because it kind of feels like it's, it's your backyard. It's a it's a home game. Um, but we're working hard, you know, we're always on the, on the next opponent, you know, how we're going to make ourselves better and how we're going to get after the next opponent. So really we're focused on Austin P right now and uh, let the rest take care of itself. Thanks.